Hi there, this uh, short video is about the cubic cost functions. We know about the cost functions, however, cubic is a version of the functions that has a degree of 3. So it means that in these cost functions, we can expect that the output would have a power of 3 at maximum and the lowest power can or may not exist. So the standard form is simply that there are the coefficients a, b, c and then there is a constant d and the polynomial its degree is declining a degree is 3 and then the powers are declining that is 3, 2, 1 and then q raised to the power 0. So this is how the standard form of cubic cost function exists. We have the um, parametric conditions of these a and b and c and d. D is considered to be positive, C is also considered to be positive, B is considered to be negative and A is considered to be positive. Now how this uh, positivity of A can affect the shape of the diagram of a cubic function? Let us see, when A is positive uh, then the first wiggle will be upward and the other wiggle will be downward. Now wiggle is something like this, there is a kind of bend in the curve and you can see that this is also there. So there are two wiggles here. Secondly, the number of wiggles will be equal to 2. It means that there will be two wiggles. One is upward and the other is downward. Whereas in cubic function, there was parabola and there was only one wiggle, not two. Here there are two wiggles. So A positive means that we will have a upward wiggle before we go to the downward wiggle. Cubic cost function, uh, a numerical instance would be this. Here you can see the value of a is 2, the value of uh, b is minus 3, and value of um, c is 4, and the value of d is 5. So it is following those conditions that b should be negative, and a can be either positive or negative. If it is positive, it means that there will be uh, an upward wiggle in the beginning and then downward wiggle. Another example is of the electric power generating plant cubic cost function. So for this electric power generating plant, we have this cubic function and here the value of A is minus 1 which is not positive and we have a value of B which is positive in this case. The value of C is negative and value of D is positive. So we remember that if it is a negative value, that is the value of A, then we will have a downward wiggle in the beginning and then upward wiggle afterwards. You can see that it is happening in this diagram, which is contrary to what we saw here in the previous diagram. Now finally, if we are talking about cost function in a cubic version, it should also have the same components, that is the fixed cost and the variable cost. These terms have output in it, uh, in, in them, so the um, part, this one, this will be called as the variable cost and this part which doesn't have any output will be called as the fixed cost component of the overall cost. So this was the variable cost that we extracted from this. So uh, we have unraveled a cubic cost function for its parts of uh, fixed cost and variable cost, I've taken a real life example of it as the electric power generating plant, cubic cost function and a numerical example as well and its theory behind it, what are the parametric stipulations of such a cubic function. So this is how the cubic cost function can be analyzed.